consciousness is not considered non-local, um, as I understand non-local in, to, 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 in, in quantum physics, consciousness is um, considered un, undescribed by quantum physics. It's that which is outside of quantum, outside of physics, outside of what is describable by physics except as being what, um, what's his name, Heisman, no. um, what's the guy, the guy with the processes anyway, process one, it's considered to be the process one, the decision making, right, this whole thing that, that got the, everyone up in arms about how it, it, it all depends on which decision you make, if you decide to do this experiment or if you decide, decide to do that experiment, actually that uh, determines the 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 framework of, of which you're talking about. Um, so actually, it's it's to me it sounds a lot like like dualism. The, what what Henry Stapp and what Orthodox quantum physics discusses. There's process one, process two. Process two is the that which can be calculated and described by quantum physics. Process one is what initiates process two. Um, and so, so that's quite dual, actually. But um, Stab, actually, if, if you look at his his um, articles on, he has an article on non-dualism, for example. Um, and he says, you know, there's no reason to think of it as being dualistic, in the sense of two different entities. It could be just uh, separate poles. I think he says. You know, you have an experience and you have the two aspects of it. There, these could be just aspects of the experiment, experience, which, you know, I mean, what I, what, what I, I don't get is why people are so fixed on, on, on finding something non-dualist. I, I guess it just kind of makes you feel good to think that it can all be reduced to one thing. And I don't really see that. Um, I mean, I understand how it's kind of nice to think of, but I don't see how it's any more logical or rational. Um, it's just kind of this this reductionist or, or I don't know this this attempt by science. They they're trying to find the grand unifying theory of everything, right? So they want to get it down to one. Which um, I don't really see the point. It is what it is, right? Whether it's one or two, it, it is what it is, and that's much more important than counting. Or you know, it's actually many. You know, there was an argument between these two monks. One said there was three monks or two people anyway. One said there are three kinds of feeling, and the other one said there are five kinds of feeling. And then the Buddha, they came to the Buddha and asked him who was right. And the Buddha said there are a hundred and eight types of feeling or something like that, <laughs> just to show them they were they were being stupid. <laughs> <laughs>